Hi, my name is Gary Brown. I'm a senior consultant at Mountain Point. Today, I'm going to take you through a quick overview of CRM analytics in Salesforce Manufacturing Cloud. Manufacturing Cloud is a collaborative platform that allows you to combine run rate business or sales agreements and opportunities into an account program or product-based forecast. One of the cool features of Manufacturing Cloud is the CRM analytics. What we're looking at here is the homepage for an account rep and some of the embedded analytics that you can get on that homepage. On the left side, you can see an overview of the best and worst performing active sales agreements that the rep has. If you click on one of the bubbles, you can see some of the details around that, the active days, the compliance rate, and the actual versus planned revenue difference. In the middle, you can see the actual versus planned sales agreement performance by product. As you can see on the left side, the products, and on the right side, the deviation. On the right side here, you can see agreement performance, so just a general roll-up of the best performing uh, agreement by customer here, Acme, and the worst, which is 13% compliance for another customer. So just a quick snapshot that'll help this account rep really focus in on areas that need to be addressed as it relates to forecast sales agreement and, and sales agreements. Now let's get over to the suite of manufacturing cloud analytic dashboards that are offered. This may take a minute or excuse me, not a minute, a couple seconds to uh, load. So I apologize for the lag. But here's just a general summary of some of the dashboards and analytics that you can get. First is around account health. So by customer, how long have I worked with that customer? How much business do they give us? How compliant are they in their sales agreements? What trends am I seeing in terms of a deviation in, in sales that I need to address? You have account insights. You have product performance, which I'm going to demo for you in a second. You've got pricing insights. So at what prices do I offer products to my accounts? What's the price elasticity of those products? A really great tool for product managers or salespeople that are trying to figure out where they need to be pricing their products and how to address deviations that are on the low side, as an example, a particular product with a certain account. Product demand dashboards, um, sales agreement insights. So we looked at insights earlier on the embedded dashboard. One of the things we didn't cover was the portion that tells about renewals. So what are the upcoming renewals I have in the pipeline? How can I position early to make sure I get those renewals? How can I alert my demand team that, hey, a renewal is coming, we need to plan and make sure production and inventory are available. White space analytics. So you know, what could I be selling to certain accounts based on what others are buying in the same segment? And then finally, forecast analysis. MAPE, what is my forecast accuracy? Let's look at the product performance dashboard. As that loads, I'm going to show you a couple things. The first one is around sales trends for particular products. And the second one is around forecast accuracy or compliance by product. Okay, so this is loaded. What you see here are product performance trends, left side products. Here's your revenue. If you drill down, you can get the details as to who's ordering these products. Here in the middle, just a different trend graph that shows by month how my products are performing. So just a great way to look at seasonality and or other trends related to more accurate forecasting. At the top, you can see some of the categories that I can drill in and segment that information by. I can do it by account owners, so particular reps or groups of reps. Account type, parent accounts. I can drill down into industry as an example. So if I wanna segment by certain in industries, I can do that. I can do it by product family. So you're not just limited by product. You can also do it by product family. Let's look at another dashboard here as it relates to the actual sales versus forecast, which will give me how accurate I am on this forecast compliance. Here on the left side, you've got your products by demand realization. Again, really nice detail around here. You've got your percentage compliance. In the middle here, another way to quickly identify where my gaps are in my products by account. So on the top, these are the accounts. On the left side, you've got your products. Anything in the lighter colors represent a negative deviation to forecast darker or positive. If I hover over one of them, I can see that detail. It's the product name here, Ripper 34, and what the deviation is. Another cool feature of manufacturing cloud and analytics is that if I wanna be really proactive instead of being reactive, I can set notifications when certain thresholds of forecast are, are met. So if something is less than a certain percentage, please notify me. Thanks for listening. Hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for the next installment on rebate management.